Oh, wow. Were you expecting to see I was going to guess. Oh, CDs and labels. That's not a label. There's a bunch of these in there. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Robert Zeba, auctioneer extra and I with just Jeff. Drove four hours to go buy a unit. The guy was repairs watches and clocks, maybe a jewelry store, so and if you haven't seen the last episode, you guys gotta check it out. Found all kind of interesting things and so much more to go through. $1,800 unit, so who knows what else we're gonna find. So let's keep looking. I see a box right here that says clock. I look on top of here. That's an old book. Religion and the Soul. Let's see if we can find a date in here. I see a date. That's old. Well, it has to be 1800s. I see good pre-copyright. 1800s. All right, clock. Woo Did you hoo say hoo hoo or coo coo? I said hoo hoo coo coo. Oh, look at this one. We got the guy coming out of the chimney. Nice. Probably well, said on the side of back German made somewhere there. Yeah, it looks like it's in the original box. It's complete. Got weights and everything with it, so pretty cool. Probably 50 bucks, right? Yep. Some enamel brass pieces. This is heavy. Whoa. We got a set. We got the vase and the candlesticks. Not too shabby. 30? Yeah, very 40. 30. Nice looking thing. Clothes. This is handcrafted leather. Oh, it's heavy. What's in here? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Wasn't expecting to find that. I see a little money in there, but that's how I saw this Nintendo game. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's worth, but it's got to be worth at least probably five, ten bucks. Could be a twenty dollar, thirty dollar game. You never know. Horse plate. Does that trophy have a baby on it? And the trophy, huh? Winchester what does that say? Baby Show, zero to four months, first place. Baby Show? Yeah, man. Can I have that? Oh, that's, you know, when I was a kid, I, I won all the baby shows. I was, I was a good-looking kid. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell my fish and stuff. Let me have the Baby Show thing. Dude, Come on. Not, you're not getting no Baby Show, Please. man. Please. Maybe if you complain my, enough, like a baby. I'll tell my daughter who just had a kid that I won a oh, baby contest. Oh, well, I'm looking at the flowery thing down there. Look at down there. Oh, global warming. Okay. I thought it was like a... I thought it was a t-shirt. What's the shirt. other one? Are those shirts or... Is that shorts or a t-shirt? These are your shorts, bro. Oh, yeah. That's uh, my size, those too. Size. <laughs> you know, not your size, buddy. You don't think? No. We got shoes right here, clothes, and the old antique umbrella. Look at that thing. Hardwood handle, watch and clock bulletin. Did you know there's a watch and clock bulletin? No. No, you do. That's why you watch the show, learn interesting things like that. Down country. Okay. Four inch. Here's another trophy. Here again. Here's another trophy yeah. for you. You can have this one. Lost my baby. Two liter bottle award. Sounds like just Jeff. <laughs> I wind that much. I don't know. Bells in there. Empty, empty. One plate. Where's the teacup? There it is. That makes it worse than mine. Yep. Oh, look at the side there. It looks beautiful. That's beautiful. That could be a thirty, forty dollar cup. People get silly over those. They do. Air flight Nikes. All right. Huh. Oh <laughs> wow! Were you 
expecting to see that. I was going to guess record player. I was, uh, it wasn't so light. I didn't, I didn't think it was empty wow. or something. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And that looks like to be in very good condition. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Made in Italy. Oh, boy. The Atlas. You know, one thing about You're me. You're not going to play, are you? I was, well, I was so thankful you didn't break out the violin. But I'm a professional. Mamma mia. Those are good. Yeah. Proves the value. Too too bad I didn't have a lighter. So, man, you always call that what, Jeff? Huh? Unexpected finds. Yeah. Unexpected finds. What did you say the name was? Did you? Atlas. A T L E S. Atlas. All right, briefcase time. Oh. oh. Dude. That's your second briefcase. Yeah, we found one last episode that was empty. Pocket watch briefcases. Now, how much pocket watch briefcase would be worth? It was full of pocket watches. Yeah. Wow. So we got watch books. Uh oh. Come on. <laughs> well, there you go. There we go, finding money. Take that, huh? Those are silver, forty percent up until nineteen seventy. You can see the difference. Yeah. So that's how you can, like people, like a lot of times I can see silver, like I will see it in stuff, and right here, I mean, you can see clear difference in what the silver one looks like and non-silver. All right. Come on. Ah. Oh! Well. Man, well, one out of three. That's ain't interesting. Bad. The one had it and two didn't. Very Odd. interesting. But I'll take like the half dollar is yeah. better than the other ones. Yeah. Clocks, watches. Clocks, watch books. This is all clocks and watch books. And then what do we got down here? These are all parts for watches. Is that the lenses or whatever? Yeah. Pocket watch lenses. Not, I, I was thinking wristwatch. There's a whole box full, and then underneath there, I've seen another box. Oh, this one's a lot heavier. Oh, oh man! Look at that. Get out. There's your glass. That was all plastic. This is all glass. How much for that? I mean, it's easily got to be a hundred, two hundred dollars. I was going to say, got to be over a you know, hundred. Watch crystals. What's that? It's got to be over a hundred. Easily. I mean, if you repaired watches, if you could, you know what I'm saying, use ten of these, they're probably 30, 40 bucks a piece just oh. to buy one of them. Oh, I'm sure. The right size you need. Oh, man. So let's see what we've got in here. Watch bands. Watch bands. Parts. Oh my gosh, look at this. I mean, it's just going, going. My dad would have loved this unit. He loved watches. He actually was, uh, he took classes on fixing them and repairing them when he retired. And he fixed clocks and watches. Wow. Look at all these parts. So, so that's gotta be a hundred dollars right here. Oh, easy. Alright, let's see what's in the safe. It looks like it's open, so that's not good. It's not empty though. What is it? I don't know. Got this little brass thing in here. Some bags and back of a pocket watch. Not much in there. Huh. Looks like nails, screws. 
That second one down was the pin that holds. Weren't those the like uh, spring pins that hold the wristband on? Yeah, probably. And look at this. Look at that stuff or watch stuff right there. See oh, the wow. little bits. All right here, a set of pivot drills. Like this could be fifty dollars. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Go buy little pivot drills. You know, someone that makes these, it's all precision. Here's more little tiny bits. Oh yeah. Swiss made? No clue. I'm not arguing with you. I have no clue. I'm believing you, so right now you could be lying to me and I believe you. I'm not sure. I just know they gotta be worth money. Sometimes you lie. And this has, I mean, it's just all kind of little bits and watch pieces. Uh, washers, I mean, it's just loaded. Kind of stuff in here. Of course, they got all these empty drawers. Big pieces. Yeah, we we gotta make some. We gotta make some watches. It's gonna be a lot of work, but they said this stuff could be thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. Of thousands of these, uh, display cases. This one's not too great. Clean up though. You can put some cool stuff in there. Another one down here, but this one, a rotating timer. Oh, because there's so much, like you could put Hot Wheels on there. Oh yeah, you could display so many cool things on there. Well, I had one that got trashed, but it was a had a base on it at the shop, and I was I thought the same thing. You could put a Hot Wheel on each end of that. Oh, that would be cool. You could put like all kind of figures. You could put action figures and stuff. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got up here. Peanuts. Empty box. Empty boxes. Boxes. Boom. Swift Stas assortment. <sighs> so this could be 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 dollars. I don't know. I know it's not cheap. These cases. Always good money. Hey. Uh-huh. Seriously. Uh -huh. At some point, can I ask you a question here? Seriously? Mm-hmm. Can at some point we discuss the clown in the room? Yeah. I'd appreciate that. Can you turn the camera on? <laughs> Why'd you do that? Oh, I, I, thought I, was, I thought I was being funny and you duped me again. Look at that oh thing. Oh my gosh, I see all kind of crazy stuff over here. Look at that in a minute. Oh my gosh. I'm not scared of clowns, are you? Oh, it squirts water. Look. Look what it says. I love kids. <laughs> Doesn't it look like that's a... a Man, yeah, I could be wrong. It's Harpo right. Jr. Hello, Jeff. I'm Harpo Jr. Hi, buddy. He's hey, awesome. Friend. He's awesome. You, not so much. <laughs> we'll work on that. All right. What do we got back here? Oh, I like this box. I like this box. Olivia Cigar Fan Box. Watch stuff in it. Could you imagine that? That is a cool box, I don't know. It is. More watch pieces, parts. Silver and silver plate. It's like silver plate. Invicta. Ah. Oh. Why couldn't I have three watches in there? Having a good day, huh, this guy? Oh, yeah. It's still a good day. A little spoon collection. Yeah, a little spoon collection. You got four out of six. And we got all kinds of trays. So this is giving us some kind of hunter steak. And that's sterling silver, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Should we find Jeff? It's heavy. What's in it? Well, most of the time it's more bags. Not this time. Keep it's like, quiet? Yeah. Pendulum piece. Use a weight thing, right? Oh, 
<laughs> what is this? Got all kinds. We got jewelry. Some watch pieces. We got a weight. What a weird bag. Why would you put all this in there? Yeah. It doesn't necessarily go together. No. Interesting, interesting. You don't know where you're going to find this one. Shark too? It's an arrowhead. Oh, the spearhead. That's another arrowhead. Watch stuff. Such a weird, strange unit. It says tools. What kind of tools? Oh, that's, tools. that's not a tool. Holy smoke, what do you see this? That's an old baby. That's an old one here. Most of these are marked on the back. A petite doll. And this is a made of composite. And you see right here, the fingers are broken right there. But it's like a mixture of stuff that kind of like glue it together and then put a coating over it. It was cheap to make during depression and things. Toys are always trying to make them cheap. People can buy them for their kids. What else we got in here? Definitely watch. Spring bars, there's more spring bars for your watches. Ah! My head's, this guy's head was way too small. There we go. I'll say something intelligent. Jeff is so cool. <laughs> I had no. that line. So we got lots of these parts for watches, and like I said, they all add up. And there's a whole bunch of backs for watches right there. What the heck is that? That's money. It's definitely a watch tool. I'll tell you one thing, buddy. When it comes to watches, yeah, you got our back. <laughs> our backs are watches. You better watch out. Mm -hmm. So we had a dial with the watches. And a box that said tools. A box that said tools. Well, it's there were some tools, of uh, watch tools. You got the shoe boxes here. Empty. This one's not empty. Hard. And another weight for a clock. Glasses. Empty box. <laughs> See, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm fine with that. You could pretend to shoot me. It's just when you find the stuff that actually shoots me. That's when you get scared? Yeah, or stabs me. I haven't it shot you that many times. Hits me in the head. So, helicopter parts, <laughs> pieces, Winchester knife, but it's not in there, just a case. Oh, what is this? Tools? Uh, more of those. Just for staff system. Uh, what are those? Are those screws? What's in those pot? Little tiny pieces. I don't even know. They're for watches. Whatever those are. Whatever staffs are. Yeah, look them up. Swiss staffs. Let's see what they're for. Oh, you better believe if I remember, I'm going to look them up. Oh, it's that game that's a room. game. I'm not good. Smart. Oh, it's CDs and labels. And that's not a label. There's a bunch of these in there. <laughs> nice. Oh. Glass slides. 
Do you like those? You can write a letter. $50,000 prize contest. These are antique slides. Some will be in better shape than others. These are advertising. Look at that washing machine. Wow. That was a little rough. You can't read it by your thumb. So, pretty cool though. And there's more of those. The whole box. Underneath there, I thought there's just. I mean, there's gotta be like at least, let's see, I'd say 12 of these. We do really well with those too, don't Oh, you? yeah. And that seems like pretty good subject matter. Yeah, advertising. Uh, the water heater. Look at the picture on there. Yeah. Look at another one or two. That one's red. The Vector heater. Look at the heater. Yeah, it's so cool. Down in front, the people behind you see the trademark. Huh. Yeah, this is going to be awful like movie theater. I'm right there. Good year. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Wow. So, good year one like that could be 10, 20 dollars. I don't know. But these are all advertising ones, so these could have more money for certain companies. Now we got some stuff over here. <laughs> Funny <laughs> man. Vintage hand of bear. You're not throwing it, right? Uh -uh. Okay, then I'll look at it. First thing my uh, dad ever got my mom was a hand of bear. Okay. Just a little panda. Panda. First thing your dad got your mom's painting, like a That's dating, stuff. like. Yeah, I mean, dating. Look at this boat, man! Oh, look at how huge this thing looks. It oh, looks oh. awesome, man. Well, I hope it's in there. The Swifty T18 boat. This thing. Oh, this is the way it's supposed to look at. I like that. That's rustic business. Right yeah. There. That's mm -hmm. like a hat holder, yep. key holder, anything you want to hold it. Yep. Spatula. Yeah. Knife. Scissors. Whoa, that was a little close, sorry. Is uh, windy enough to fly a kite today? Sure is. A lot. Go for it. Okay. There's not enough lightning. How come I don't trust you at all? Alright, here we go. I know what you're saying, Jim. Drum roll. Force it around, yeah. right? Is that what you're trying to say? That's funny. I'm used to seeing the other end. <laughs> Truth. Come on, come on. Come on, baby. It's so light, I'm though. telling you, I can ride it. It's very light. I think I could ride that. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. wow. Yes. Look at that. Holy smoke. You know, like, the, the, the glass looks like a little tinted. Is that age, or is that the way it's made to be? Probably a little age, huh? How would you think that is? Wow. I've never seen anything like it. Oh yeah, gas powered race boat. What would you say that is? 36 inches? Is that three feet? It says right on the box somewhere. It says cockpit is under foam. I'm going to take it out. I don't want to see any cockpit music. The cockpit's where they sit. That's, That's a cockpit. Let's go look over here. Look at this thing. Oh wow. Yeah, that's got some horsepower. So, a race boat like that? Man, I didn't know it was more. Hey, I'll be home late tonight. I'm taking the boat to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> this thing right here. It. There it is. So, it's a T18 Swiftly boat. NQD. Powerful high speed motor. RC system included. New design. Wow. What's it? Look at the bottom side where your right hand is. There's all kinds of pictures there. Look at all those. Nice. Priceless. Priceless. What else you, have easily a couple hundred dollars. I can't see it not being. Man, if you got this kind of toy, what else you got in your toy box? 
see this thing looks like a racing or video game system. It's a Pelican Cobra TT. Oh, mine sounded better. Yep, yeah, I'm better. I think this is like close to a massage or something. Is that a bear? There it is. That's the remote for your uh, is boat. It? Isn't it? Is it a project? Is uh, there there's another? a lot of stuff in the the remotes. So we'll find out in a minute. Look at this. Nice. Oh, yeah. No way. The that's Batmobile. A, that's the Batmobile. Man. Na, 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 Robert. Hey, that reminds me. What's up? How did you come up with the beginning of your your shows, the music? I had other music, and then I started using this music. So. I like that music better. I find myself, I you find like myself it? humming that sometimes. Oh! Ewok Star Wars Bank? 1983. You find yourself humming it? Yeah. This thing does all kinds of stuff in here. Just can't pull everything out. Do, 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 this is for your corny jokes. This dude. I could do the opening show music. I like that. Do, 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 you might do, 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 do. There's a cornbread. Cornbread. That's all there is out here is cornfields. Now look at this thing, Jeff. Oh! How can that? What is that? Does it's a, it's it a can't control? No way. Like a race bike. You gotta start rolling it by the time you drive it. Yeah, you That's gotta get this crazy. Thing and you just go. Oh man. <laughs> That's neat. That's pretty cool. That looks difficult though. It looks like something I couldn't do. You could do it, Jeff. So we got constructs. A bunch of different sets it looks like in here. Gotta be worth some money. Pieces, parts, toys. Lincoln Lodge for Jeff. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Yeah, gold points. <laughs> right. BMW. You drive a boat like that, you gotta drive a BMW. Yeah. What's in these boxes? Oh, wow. 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 And it's heavy. Appears to be complete, right? Appears to be complete. Well, I'm assuming anything that's missing is inside here. And there's the pendulum. There's the key. So that is an old clock, solid brass mantel clock. Texas Holden. Jewelry gem cutting. <laughs> this is cool. Yep. Alright. Schaefer. You have the pen in there. That's a jeweler's bag. Bracelet. We got all kind of stones down here. Arrowheads. Oh, there's money. Money. Antique enamel. Little pot there. Wow, that's an old. That's very really cool. Is that root beer? Yeah. Wow. It's an old dad's root beer bottle. I like it. I like it. Swag. It's marked right there. Old 
cracks the energy. Okay. Yeah. Not an old bottle. Oh, God, yeah. Nice decorative pieces. Yeah. It's all gonna be more watch pieces. Tools. Watch stuff, watch stuff. Some little tiny screws and who knows. For cutting and polishing steel and stones. Black shield. Main spring. So in this case, I have no clue. Huh. Folks, National Watch Association. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Aw. Man. I had them in there at one point. Sure looks like it, huh? Yeah. Pocket watch, timepiece. So definitely got to have some value just in these little old books. This is a nice box, humidor. <laughs> got some jewelry in here. Let's see what we got underneath it. Ah! Oh. Pretty box though with the inlay. Kind of jewelry boxes in here. A couple earrings in it. Not too much. Yeah, you're getting some boxes to put all your jewelry in now. Yeah. You got so much jewelry. That's true. Whatever's in here. Oh! BMW. BMW. I'm interested. So it looks like it was taped and someone opened it, right? Where'd that BMW hat go? That go, that go with that hat. Go with what? That BMW oh, yeah. sign. Go with that hat. What happened to the hat? I sold it. This might be a giant camera lens. These guys have some real good value. Vivitar, made in Japan. 75 mm, 138. Gotta something. There's another lens, more camera lenses, camera lenses. And then, oh my god. But underneath all these camera lenses, Clocks, there's watches, who knows? Tools, pieces, parts, more crystals. More watches. So, all kind of Watch parts. Now the question is all this stuff parts, pieces. There you go, Jeff. Equal Who's play. that? This, I'm not sure. This? Eagle plate. There's different collector plates in here. All kind of watch stuff. Crystal shaver. Oh, you can fix the cracked crystal, Jeff. Wow. Now when you chip it, it yeah. will, I will never know. Perfect. Just one side of the glass will be really short. That'll get some good use. Oh. See a watch and a horse. It's like everything has watches everywhere around here. Oh, it's a different clock. How do you come across so many watches? How many what? How do you come across so many watches? Watches. Well, if you buy a guy that repairs watches, you probably gonna get a lot. Man, it's heavy. I'm just saying, there's a lot of pissed off people. It's like empty watch band cases. These are all containers. All empty containers. Books, watch stuff. I don't know what that is. Holy smoke, there's something down there. 
old machine. I see all kind of cases back there. I'm getting excited. Let's go right here. Falcon camera. Pieces, parts. Radiant lamp stuff. Watch stuff. Oh man. There you go. So these are jeweler presses. One there, one there. Watch. Citizens, watch. Little pieces, I don't know. They're all things in there. Boy, there's just watch after watch after watch. And this looks like a movement or back for an old clock. So I don't know what the value of all this stuff is, but definitely worth something. What the heck is that? Oh, I know what that is. It's a shelf for one of those crazy, like, crap things. It's massive, whatever it is. Yeah. It would go with your shirt. Mouth. This might go for the battery charger for the Tyco. A little Ford. Huh. Man, these cases are awesome back here. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Watchmaster? <laughs> Where are you seeing that at? Uh, we'll find out in a minute. I think that's going to be big money. Big money. Clock. Little cuckoo clock. Part to the clock, put the necklace on, baseball card. Guess what? Watches, ring sizer. Oh my gosh, look at this. Sage insert. Sulfur, Sulfur compound. compound. White chemical. With a paper label. You probably never see the paper label. I've never seen like a this. paper label. Wow, wow, wow. This has been full of surprises. Original oil painting. Number one. Original oil painting. Number two. Cincinnati clock. I think it's extremely heavy. Wow. And then in there is a claw machine, little kid toy claw machine. Ad adults can play with those. Yes. What is this? Woohoo! Oh. Nice. That is an old that looks right U.S. Out. military holster. Really? Yeah. Holster right there. It's got to be worth at least 30, 40 bucks, maybe more. How old do you think that is? Well, it looks like... Hey, World War One. I was going to say pre-40s, pre-World War Two. They might have used the World War Two just because in the beginning we had a lot of World War One weapons that we still use. So we weren't really prepared. Plates. With a toaster oven, a holster, Jesus, and a... I mean, you just never know where you're going to find. Yeah. Happy Days. Famous Old Rive Whiskey. It's broken, though. Two cups. A little crack. Father or something. 1866 pure rye. Wow. Wait. Oh, so oh, nice. Oh, it's earrings. Oh, some earrings and too much in there. Part of a clock. There's sports car you always want. Yeah, it's nice. Cars of the 60s and books. It's really 
really empty. Alright. The moment of truth. You want to see the Watchmaster? What is the Watchmaster? This thing. I, heard, I know what a Viewmaster is. Is it like that? Oh, wow. That looks masterful. I really need to know what it does to be impressed. Oh, it opens. American Time Products. New York. Whatever it is, it looks expensive. Did you open it? Uh, it looked like you lifted something. I think this opens like how you think. Yeah, it's like a cover that's going okay. over top of it. I'm not messing with it. It could be worth a hundred dollars. Could be worth a thousand dollars. I don't know. Could it be worth one million dollars? No, but it'd be awesome if it was. No. This thing. Go Gator. It almost looks like a cornhole set. Huh? <laughs> it is. Portable cornhole. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Now, these right here I know are money. These old watch cabinets right here. So, now let's see what we got in them. Main springs. So, these are, these these packages right here are going to have springs in them. They're all parts? This is, this is oh, all parts. Man. This says Swiss main springs. Oh my. Let's say a buck apart. Pieces. 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 Parts. And just these old cabins are worth money. Right. Oh. I'm not trying to force anything open right now. This one's empty. That one's full. Look at that. Bulova. Full. What does it say on the front of there? Boulevard Repair Master. Boulevard Crown Cabinet, Boulevard Hands, Boulevard Crowns. Boulevard's expensive watch, oh, right? Yeah. Not too much in there. Empty. <laughs> Loaded. Loaded. Pretty much empty. Empty. I feel it. Pieces, parts. Move on and on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come right out and say it. Um, what's that? Wow, wow, wow. I like it. I'm impressed. That's a lot of stuff. Now the real question: What's in all cool. these briefcases? Let's see if we get really impressed. I like this. Watches repaired, work guaranteed. Oh yeah. Looks broken. <laughs> That's the whole point. They gotta fix it. Don't tell me they're locked. It's empty. Oh, no. Something. All right, no worries. It's just a salt pepper. Don't break. Don't break your watch, Master. Salt and pepper. Grass, one piece. Interesting. Feels like it's pretty empty. Empty briefcase. Empty. Now I was worried that's for the stack of briefcases is probably just gonna be empty. Empty. Paperwork. The watchmakers of Massachusetts. What was the date on there? Oh, no date. I'm sorry. I thought I saw the date. Oh, nice. See some pocket watches. Other watch stuff. But that's a good sign. That's box four. Okay. Rainbow Six Vegas. Empty case. Razor. Oh, you like those. Oh, yeah. Some kind of stone. A jewel. Oh, 
something in here for sure. All kind of stuff in there. Jewelry. Might be a gold necklace right there. Could be some sterling silver. Just don't know where we're gonna find this. Video games, watches. Oh man, what is this? Some kind of looks important. CNC Marshall Company. Not sure if it's a sanitizer or what. Ooh, I like that watch box. It's empty though. Belgian box. That's a crazy little sander. Looks like more watch pieces, parts, can imagine that. Just yet. We got a cuckoo clock. Shirt. Whew. Nothing on some socks and stuff. Get in here. Parts of a clock. Oh, this looks cool. This is neat. That's an actual clock. Yeah, it's an actual clock. Whew. Old china. All kind of pieces in here. Old bottle. Paul Revere. State series? Talk about old. He has sign language even in there. 1891. Hey, do you know why they came up with the term spelling B? Why? I don't. It just is curious if you knew. Lipton Coffee. So you don't know? They stumped you? What was the question? Spelling B. Get a book on spelling. Ruby red glass. Clock pieces. Watch. And Jeff? Yes. Slip, slip, slip and slide. We gotta try that. Heck yeah. It's a brand new in the box. Huh. More watch watches. Puzzle. This box is awesome. That's, that's very cool. That's cool. All carved. Oh, with that antique alarm clock. That's almost as cool. Clock. Ten bucks. You pay ten bucks for that. I might catch me in the right mood. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. Oh, man. Wrist watches. Seiko and Nuno's and this whole thing is just full. It's clock haven. Clock haven. I don't want to take them all out right now. What was the clock you told me that you, if you move it, you have to have it professionally adjusted? An Atmos clock? Oh, what's it called? An Atmos? Atmos. That's a nice table wire. So another box, full money, out in Sardinia, Ohio. Drove pretty far. Come get this unit, but it's been interesting. More of these pieces and parts. And now we gotta go this way. The final pile. Ultrasonic cleaning machine. Right 
regulator clock. So we'll see what's very fragile. Porsche book. Is that what's, what's very fragile? What is in here? Oh my god. Got me curious. I'm circling around. This is one thing I see. It's an antique umbrella. Look at the handle on there. It's like falling apart. Clock stuff. Ah, fragile. That makes sense. Crystal. There's just some boxes and stuff in there. Huh? Not too sure. 35 day clock. Get you through the whole month, just Jeff. Awesome. A little magnifier. That's an everyday magnifier. Yeah. Look at that. Seth Thomas clock. IMAX manual. Piece of a cuckoo clock. Every jewelry box you found was full. It's been a really good day. We did find a lot of watches, carts, and empty watch boxes. But down here, this is all watch stuff. I'm not even going to get into this mess. Now, this is, looks like it's holding a bunch of pieces and parts. A lot of cigar box in here, it feels not much in there. But we've got a few more things to go through. If you haven't seen another video, you gotta check it out. All kind of cool stuff in here. Tons and tons of watches, that's for sure. Just gonna count them all up for everybody. You guys can take a guess how many you think. Just been counting already. Watch parts. I, I gave up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember you were counting just yet? No, oh, that just threw me off. You better uh, start counting again. Yeah. I see. I was better at counting how many licks to get to the middle of the center of a tootsie pop. Yeah, you probably work. Ooh, that could be some cash. I saw artwork. Artwork, yeah. Oh man, that's metal. Metal mantle clock. Oh. So, overall, kind of what I expected. Kind of not, but I know the equipment for clock stuff, the pieces, the parts, all add up for watches. I mean, definitely thousands of dollars in the unit. I paid $1,800, drove four hours, I got four hours back. We'll find out if it's worth it after we sell it. We start everything for a buck. Check out our website, www.secondscience.com. You got anything to say, Just Jeff? I just want to say, uh, awesome to be out here in Sardiniaville, where everywhere you can look, everywhere you turn is cornfields. Right? It's cornfield fun. Have a great day.